Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are good. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss one more problem based on Gauss quadrature method. So here I have taken two dimensional problems. Uh, in the previous lectures, we have discussed one dimensional problem. Now we will see this two dimensional problem. How to approach for this type of problem? So first, what we need to do? The first thing we need to find is Gauss point. So n value. So first we will find the n value. For finding n value, already we have discussed we need to equate 2n minus 1 is equal to order. What is the order of this equation? 2, right? Here also you can see 2. Maximum is here also 2. Here if you multiply power also, then it will become 2. So order is 2. From here, if you will solve, 2n can be written as 3, which means n value is equal to 1.5. So as we know, if the value is greater than a number like uh, 1, 2, 3, then we will take n is equal to the next value. So if, if it is 1.5, so we need to take this value as 2. So this is the problem on Gaussian point number n is equal to 2. So whatever the value we will take from here is in this problem, that we will take for n is equal to 2 from that table. Already I have given that table. So there we will take the value of here n is equal to 2 means what will be the values? x1 value, x2 value, w1 value, w2 value. So whatever the value will be there, we will take here. Now the next thing is, what is the formula for this two-dimensional problem? So formula I can represent in this way, minus 1 to 1. Again, it begins to minus 1 to 1, f of x comma y dx theta. The expansion of this formula can be written in this form, that is summation, j is equal to 1 to n. Again, summation, i is equal to 1 to n. W j, W i into x i y j. Okay. So this is the expansion. What does it mean? So here we have the value of n now 2. So j is equal to 1 to 2, i is equal to 1 to 2. So if you will expand it, what we are going to get, we are going to get the expansion of this. You can write it as w1 square f of x1 y1 right plus w1 w2 f of x1 y2 plus again w2 w1 w2 w1 or you can write w1 w2 f of x2 y1 and then we will have w2 square f of x2 y2 right this is the expansion so how we have done the expansion see for that purpose let us see we have x value 1 and 2 and for y value also we have written 1 and 2 because here you can see j value limiting from 1 to n, i value 1 to n. So 1 and 2 because n is 2. So x is responsible for this i, x i. So x from 1 to 2 and y also y j. j also means 1 to 2 means y value also. So in the first case, what we need to do? The first case, we will keep both the values as 1 and 1. In the first case, what I have done, I have kept both the values as 1, 1. So what will happen? This will become W1. This will also become W1. This will become X1. This will become Y1. So W1 into W1 is W1, right? In the next case, what I have taken? I have taken X, I value as 1 and J value as 2. So this will become WI. WI means I1. This is the first case. I have taken 1 comma 1. Next case, what you can take? You can take 1 comma. Next case, what you can take? 2 comma. And next case, again, 2 comma. Is there any other possibility? If we have these values, 
is there any possibility of taking other values no only these four possibilities are there right so one one we have taken now we will take one two so one two then w one w two function of x one y one then we have taken two one so w one w two f of x two y one when then we have taken two two so w two w two means w two square function of x two y two so this is only the four possibility these are the only four possibility that can happen in this case right so we have elaborated this we have expanded this equation and we have written w one square f of x one y one w one w two f of x one y two w one w two again you can write for simplicity just to remember the thing you can write it w one w two only interchange the inner values x two Y one, and this will be W two squared, right? So for the simplicity, you can write W one W because if you will multiply W two into W one, then also you will get the same value as W one into W two. This is just multiplication. Okay. So now we need to find this individual value. We need to find this individual value. We will find this, and then what we need to do? We need to add all up. All these four values, and then we will find the value of this given integration, right? So for that we need w1, x1, y1, right? So we will go to that table now. In that table, from that table, we will see what is the w1 value, what is w2 value, what is x1 value, what is x2 value given in the table when n is equal to two. Remember this when n is equal to two because here. Number of gross point is two. So let me write these all the values <coughs> of W one from the table. We'll write here from the table. Actually, you should remember that table <coughs> because in your paper uh, there might be a possibility that they won't give you the table. So you should remember the value from the table. I can write. <coughs> W one is equal to W two is equal to one. The value of W one and W two is one. Similarly, value of x comma y one is equal to plus one by root two. Right. So I have not given in uh, what I say in decimal. Because if I will give in decimal, uh, it will be around zero point five seven seven three five, right? So remembering that value will be slightly difficult. Remembering this value is easy plus one by root three, and later on when you will keep in calculation, you will just convert it into decimal. Okay. Now x two, y two, value will be minus one by simple. Now you can ask, sir, in your table you have given only uh, in the table you have written here n, then you have written location of x i, and then you have given the value of w i. From where we got this y? See, whatever be the function, whatever be the function, here I have given value of x one, right? Suppose value of x one I have given zero. Let us suppose this is n is equal to one. X one value is zero and W one value is equal to two. So in this case, if there will be a problem on two D, what does it mean? In that case also, we need to take Y one also zero. If you are taking function as Z one, then Z one also zero. If you are taking the function as Zeta, so Zeta one also zero. So whatever be the function, the function if numbering, you just need to see the number X one. So here two dimensional problem is there. So x1 and y1 both are going to be plus one by root three because value of their x1 I have given one by root three, right? Plus x2 value I have given minus one by root three. So function of x2 and y2 both are going to be minus one by root three. Suppose there will be a problem on three dimensions, then what will happen? X1, y1, z1, all three values are going to be plus one by root three, right? X2, y2, z2 value all are going to be minus one by root three. So this thing you need to know. Just I have given the function value there. Right, just I have given the function value. So please remember this thing. Now let us calculate. Let us calculate the first term, and that is w one square f of 
x1 comma y so w1 is by w1 value 1 so 1 is by into f of x1 y1 what is the function let us see the function function is 2x square plus 3xy plus 4y square so can we write in this form now function 2x1 square plus 3x1 y1 plus 4y1 can we write in this form because we are taking here in place of x x1 and in place of y y1 so let us solve now 1 square is 1 only right so 2 into x1 square x1 value is what 1 by root 3 so 1 by root 3 plus 3 into x1 1 by root 3 into y1 again 1 by root 3 y1 value is also 1 by root 3 plus 4 into y1 square y1 value is again 1 by root 3 Just you need to solve it. Once you will solve it, you will get the value of 3. Similarly, we will go for the second one that is w1, w2, f of x1, y2. So we can write now w1, w2. w1 is 1, w2 is 1. So 1 into 1. Now again, we can write 2x1 square plus. 3x1 into y2 because in place of y we need to put y2 plus 4 into y2. So again, 1 into 1 is 1, 2 into x1, x1 value is 1 by root 3 plus 3 into x1, again 1 by root 3 into y2 y2 is minus 1 by so here we will keep minus 1 by root plus 4 into y2 is per y2 is minus 1 by so from here we are going to get the value of w1 w2 f of x1 y2 value we will get W2, W1, F of X2, Y1 will be W2, W1 again 1 into 1. Function we can write 2X2 square plus 3X2, Y1 plus 4 y1 square just keep all the values whatever the values is given here just repeat the same step right see the values and keep the values directly we will end up with the value of 1 and similarly w2 square f of x2 y2 can be written as w2 square means 1 square again 2x2 square plus 3x2 y2 plus 4 y2 square. If you will solve it, just put all the values, you will end up with the value of 3. So we got our total values. Therefore, I can say integration minus 1 to 1, minus 1 to 1, 2x square plus 3xy plus 4y square, same one, right? 2x square, 3xy, 4y square. Into dx dy is equal to the values, just addition of all the values. 3 plus 1, plus 1, plus 3. 3 plus 1, plus 1. That is our answer. Answer is going to be A. Okay. Sometimes, mostly they won't ask in uh, 2D problems, but sometimes if they are asking for verification, how will you verify? Verify by using normal integration process. 
to verification so let us see verification for verification we have the again same problem right minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 2x square plus 3xy plus 4y square into dx so let us integrate with respect to x first let us integrate with respect to x first and then we will go for y so if you will integrate with respect to x so this will remove only the next minus 1 to 1 with respect to x 2x square so 2 and here x square will become x cube by 3 right so 2 by 3 x cube 2 by 3 x cube plus here y so y will be as it is outside and in place of x it will become x square by 2 right so 3 by 2 x square y you can write here 3 by 2 y x plus here 4 y square so 4 y square into dx so 4y square will be taken as a constant. So outside integration of dx will be x. So we can write 4y square x. Limit minus 1 to 1. Now the integration will be with respect to dy only, right? With respect to dy. So just put the upper limit value and minus lower limit upper limit is one so in place of x we will keep one and then minus one and subtract it means upper limit minus lower limit i hope you will know how to put this upper limit minus lower limit values so once you will put this upper limit and lower limit values you will end up with the value four by three four by three plus a into b. Now integrate with respect to y now. So here, if you will integrate with respect to y, 4 by 3 is constant outside. Integration of dy will be y, right? So 4 by 3 into y plus 8 outside y square. y square will be y cube by 3. So 8 by 3 y cube limit from minus 1 to 1 just keep the limit values upper limit minus lower limit you will end up with the value of x so this is the verification key by using the normal method also the value is going to be 8 and by using boss quadration method also the value is going to be 8 so this is the problem on two dimensional using gauss quadrature method okay so thank you everyone